welcome back to my channel and today's video so i've got a tesco haul for you guys today and it's sort of a camping holiday tesco haul um we still have a few other shops to go to so we've still got to go to aldi we've still got to go to bnm and a few other shops as well just to get like everything we need um because we're going for seven days so um yeah so we need a lot of stuff with three kids so if you want to see those hauls as well then be sure to subscribe and i'm sure i will share them with you guys either before we go or after um but yeah today's video is tesco and there are like some there is junk food on this one it's not very slimming world friendly but i am still gonna try my best to stick to it you can see all my um friend as well so I'm just going to turn the camera in and show you guys what we've got. We do have a meal plan as well, so be sure to stick to the end and you can see that too. Okay, so we've got four bags of crisps because we're going to do lots of picnics. It's just snacks. The boys absolutely love these ones and there's a few offers on them as well. We've also got some nappies and pull-ups for a night time for help um, because we do not want, like, you know, we just don't want to be changing um, sheets in a tent trailer tent you know all of that so not risking it um we've got we went for the UHT milk because obviously um we don't have to worry about storing it in like the cooler then store them in the fridge um or the cooler once they're open so and working it out like bowls of cereal and coffee like they should last us enough but they might not have cereal one day or whatever anyway I'm gonna stop rambling so yeah so we've got the UHT milk um, and then we have and it's got his beer for down there this was only like nine pound for ten cans which I think is really good as well so if you buy it when you're on holiday it's like a fortune and then we have we've got loads of these pot pastas because all you do is just put boiling water in them and leave them which I thought they would be really good for the boys I'll just boil some water for them in the like camping kettles and then they can pour them in for like a quick snack um, yeah so we've got quite a few noodles I might as well just show you all the noodles while we're on the noodle front so we've got two of these ones we've got a tomato -y mozzarella one um, I've got a little mug shop one just to try um, and then we've got these creamy creamy carbonara ones there's a five pack there i think that was a pound as well um i'm gonna keep saying club card club card two chain main ones not tried those ones before but hopefully they will like them and then we've got some like curry flavored ones and some chicken and mushroom ones i think that's all the noodles oh i've got one more mug shot too i do like those ones um, and I think the mug shots are free on Simmer World actually, so I'm still being kind of good while I'm away. Yeah, and we just got this like multi pack of cereal as well, just in case they fancy cereal instead of toast, eggs, beans, you know, the normal. Like, yeah, so we just thought we'd just get those, and we do have to get some more cereal as well from um, from Aldi. Yeah, yeah, we've also got 30 eggs and. We've got a head torch, I think that was only about £4. I've got the kids, one of these each as well. Um, just, can you see that? should warn that there's flashing lights in this video. It's quite good actually, they were just all playing with them um, until Hope started just throwing it. So <laughs> I thought we'd just um, pop them here to show you guys as well. They were £2 each with the club card. Um, it's definitely worth getting one if you shop at Tesco a lot um yeah okay so we've got two of these i think these are 40p each as well they will just be for like the picnics and on the way down there um and then we've got like some bars and stuff so chocolate chip ones where's the other ones we've got these caramel crunch bars the boys really like those big pack of sultanas black currant beetroot bites i think these are on offer as well um, because I really do think these are so expensive sometimes, but they're really good for them. Um, I don't feel too guilty. And then we go to these, these ones. Wait. Juicy, oh, yogurt raisins, yeah. Um, I thought we did the wrong one then. Okay, so I've got a big multi-pack of the, multi-pack, it's only five, Jess, it's not that big. 
Um, yeah, I've got a five pack of those ones and a five pack of those. I think the key to keeping kids happy is snacks, snacks, snacks. So um, yeah, I've also got these. These are only like 70p, I'm not sure. Um, but they looked really nice. So we just got those. We've also got some mash, um, just in case. I don't know. I honestly don't know why I put it on. Um, maybe it's in case I get like hangry or something because you can just make it with boiling water again because we're camping. Bought some porridge oats either to take them as to do porridge or I might just make a batch of flapjacks um, ready because I don't think these will last very long. Um, but we'll see. Um, okay, the boys have been um, moving things around. So we've got these for when we go down they'll have like a picnic in the car because like it's you know it takes a while so we're just going to do a picnic so i just got them these for on the way down there to go with their picnic so rio's got the chicken ones and they do these vegetarian ones which i thought was cool because i think he misses having like fun stuff like that like that they used to have i know i know it's not really good for them but they are older and it makes them hubby. Then we've got some ham to do some of the sandwiches as well. We've also got two packs of halloumi. Again, I'll show you guys what we're doing for our meal plan at the end. Um, okay, go back over this way. So we've got three packs of um, packs, tins. Oh, I'm tired, sorry. <laughs> three tins of beans, um, two tomatoes, plum tomatoes, two kidney beans, two coconut milk, um, two carrots as well. I think I'm going to try and do a roast dinner when we're down there as well. Like um, me and my mum sort of like plan together what we're going to cook um, and like share the load. So that's nice. Um, got some taco mixed beans. I'm going to cook a chilli before we go down there and freeze it. So when we get there, dinner's already done um, because it'll be defrosted and then we just heat it up, make some rice and yeah. So yeah, there's another tip, like just always make your first meal when you go on holiday in this country. That's what we do. Um, we just got some spices that we ran out of and some bakso. And these were a substitute for the normal yogurts that we get for Hope. Um, but I'll probably just pick some up from Aldi if I'm honest, because we do have to go to Aldi as well. Got some hot dogs and oh no, they didn't send the hot dogs. Oh man, they didn't send the veggie hot dogs, so we're going to have to pick some of those up from Aldi as well. Um, I should check my notes, but I didn't really. So yeah, we've got hot dogs um, and some sauces. So we've got mayonnaise, barbecue and tomato. We didn't go for the low fat this time just because... Okay, so fruit wise, we haven't really got a lot of fresh fruit because it will go off fast because we haven't got a fridge um, and, you know, just being outside and in a warm tent I say that but it's like it's, <laughs> it's tipping it down now so we've got two packs of oranges I'm sure they'll just go in a day anyway some apples some bananas and um, things that have skins if you notice like I've not really gone for like grapes and stuff at least you can like peel them and know that they're like clean um, and also a pineapple because what we do is we chop it up if we're having a beach day pop it in like a cool um like the cool pots with some ice and it's so refreshing when you're down on the beach um so yeah we always take like a pineapple and my mum's got like a big watermelon as well and yeah um yeah so what else okay so we've got some ginger some thyme and some garlic also got some spring onions as well and a cucumber got some wraps as well because I do have like a little camping hack tip for like how to do the like TikTok wraps when you're camping. Um, also have some brown onions and then we've got some tonic water just because it is cheaper to buy from there and I'm not paying a fortune like £1.10 a bottle I think it is um, down there and yeah we're not paying that so um it's just 50p a bottle and i do just like it on its own sometimes as well but we have got to get a bottle of gin because one of the nights or maybe every night who knows i would like a drink because it's my holiday too so and then we've got the two packs of the um 
pop those back. Um, these weren't the ones I picked actually. And the date is actually no good on them. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so I might just freeze them actually and have them like the first day we go down there when they're defrosted. So, yeah. We've got another fry light because we are all out. Hope's conditioner. This one smells really nice. It reminds me of, I can't remember what the sweets are called, but they were like red and white like swirls. Um, I'm going to try and find them and I'll pop a picture up, but that's what it smells like. They're really nice. We've got hand soap for down there and some diplomatic refills. Obviously, we've still got to wash up down there. There's another dishwasher. Big peanut butter, um, some granulated sweetener. We've got another cornflour because we'll probably make some gloop as well, um, just to keep her happy or if we're having like a rain, rainy day. Then we've got some cobs for the picnic on the way down there. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, we've got some sweet potatoes because when we do the chicken, Riley and Hope will have like sweet potato, you know. I'll show you anyway in the meal plan okay so i've got a big pack of chicken this was eight pound 45 and um yeah i'll show you guys what i'm going to do with that anyway um we've got some bacon that will probably just be for the crabs and crab fishing um we've got some beef mince yeah some minced beef um wake up jess two packs of sausages pack of potatoes and two packs it's gonna fall two packs of the um wholemeal bread they're only 50p each um and we do get through a loaf a day in this house anyway so um yeah we've got some squash i'm going backwards now on i and some prosecco because we always have um prosecco on the beach on our first beach day so uh yeah i've showed you everything da, 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 da. Yeah, so I think that is all. Okay, I'm going to show you guys really quickly and then because I need to put it away. So yeah, so I'm going to cook this. I'm actually going to cook it today, a veggie version and a meat version. Um, I would just do a veggie one, but my mum was moaning. So <laughs> I'll do a meat one as well. I'm going to cook that, freeze it so it's got a few days to freeze before, um, like, you know, to be like proper frozen. And then as we're on the way down there, it will defrost and be ready to like reheat by the time we get there on the night time and then dinner's sort of done we just gotta make a rice up and some garlic balls or whatever we want to do tuesday we're gonna have a barbecue and obviously like you know just normal barbecue stuff um on wednesday we're gonna have jerk chicken rice and peas and do dumplings as well but for riley and hope they'll have like sweet potatoes and like stuff like that um, maybe some halloumi um, yeah but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the um, marinade for that and the barbecue sauce this is what I normally do when we go down there so I'm going to make the marinade up um, season the chicken and then freeze it so we've got frozen chicken but it's already like seasoned so then we keep that in the cooler and it's normally good by like Wednesday but we could always do it like we can swap the days around we just sort of work this out around like um when the food's gonna go off um but we do buy ice every day as well so everything stays sort of frozen yeah like i say that is because we are going wild camping is it called wild camping i'm sure it is if there's no electric um yeah and then we're doing on thursday we're going to do a roast now we did this last time we went down my mom like spatchcocked a chicken um, it was so funny because it would barely fit in the barbecue, but it was it worked and it was brilliant. Um, we did roasties and mash and veg and stuff like that. So, yeah. And then on Friday, um, we'll probably pop into like the local town to the butchers and do another barbecue. Um, and then on Saturday, we're having a curry night. And then on Sunday, for our last night, we'll have a pizza night. And my mum will probably do like her famous chips because they are amazing. Yeah, so we've also got some breakfast like ideas. We've got the cereal, toast, eggs, beans. They can do porridge if they want to. Um, we will have like a big cooked breakfast on the last day with like sausages, bacon, eggs, tomatoes, and all of that. Um, 
lunches obviously they can do like noodles pasta pot noodles sandwiches hot dogs we still have to pick up a few things as well snacks like i've got to do like a lot of meal prep and stuff um but obviously you know they've got like bars and stuff like that oh we're having a tantrum so this is our meal plan for when we are camping and thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video Bye. Bye.